Hello, Ethan. This is a review of your Chanter lesson from January 5th, 2024. Uh, right before you start, I want to make sure you get two pages ready. You're going to want this page, which was sent to you. Make sure you have it before you start this lesson, okay? I want you to have it in front of you every time you play the video. All right, so there's this one. Okay, make sure you go get that. Pause the video if you don't have it. Before you do that, also make sure you have this one handy. Okay, those two sheets need to be in front of you before you start. Okay, once you've gotten the two sheets, right, we're gonna get started right away. The first sheet, we have the scale. We're gonna do the scale three times, right? From the bottom up, back down. I want you to make sure that you are playing along with me in my tempo, right? It's not gonna be too fast. And if it is too fast for you, I want you to pause the video and do it on your own and make sure all the transitions are clean, especially from D up to E, no crossing sounds. And, and then when you go back down from E down to D. Okay, let's get started. Ready? Get a good low G sound check. Uh, all right, here we go. On three, one, two. Uh, Okay, if that was challenging in the transitions uh, between D and E, pause the video, practice that, come back, and we'll do it a second time. Okay, we're going to do the scale again from low G up to high A, back down to low G on three. Ready? One, two. Uh... Right. The next thing we're going to do is the G grace note scale, which is on the second line of this page. Remember with the G grace note, we're lifting the G finger before each note like this. That one. Ready? We'll do it two times on my count on three. Ready? One, two. If any of that was too difficult to keep up with, pause the video and try it on your own. Otherwise, let's keep going. Again, G grace note scale. Ready? One, two. Uh... Right. The next line on this page is the D throw scale, the throw on D. There it is. And you can take a look at it off on the video on, on that side. And with the D throw, as you can see, it's first sound that we make on it is a what? Take a look at the music. What is it? The D throw itself starts on low G. So whatever note is before it, that's whatever it is. Maybe it's an A, like at the beginning of the line. And then we go to low G and we need to hear that. It needs to be sounded clearly, right? So we're gonna, just to demonstrate, we'll do the D throw from low A, the first note on that scale line there, on line three. Ready? Here we go. Did you hear the low G after the low A? Here it is again. Super important to sound that low G. That's what makes a D throw a D throw. Okay, let's do the entire scale. We're going to start on the way, all the way up to high A. All right, 
We don't do a D throw from D, so we skip D. That's why it's on the music that way. Ready? One, two. <laughs> I want you to pause the video and try that on your own and make sure that you can hear all the parts of the D throw. The low G at the beginning, the D grace note up to C or down to C, and then back up to D like this. All those parts, the rhythm is da, um, da, da, D, right? You need to hear all of that. Okay, let's do the D throw scale again from low A. Ready? One, two. Okay, again, pause the video if you need to to work on that. Absolutely need to hear the low G at the beginning of the D throw. All right, the last line of the page is called A and E are hot lava, right? Okay, the purpose of this exercise is to help help us remember to have a light touch, when, especially when we, when we are tapping down our fingers for anything. But in particular, we're going to practice it when we do low A grace notes on E, which would be... Right, there's E, and then when we touch down, we play a short low A and come right back up. We don't want to go and squeeze on the channel, we just want to touch it lightly. All right, it's a bouncing ball, like a properly inflated basketball bouncing. And then the other note that we're going to do this on is the E grace note that you get when you play a tap on F. Right, here's F, and then you touch down. When this finger's down, you're playing an E, but we want it short, like this. A lot of people tend to squeeze down on those and they do things like this. We don't want that. We want it. We want a light touch. Here we go. A and E are hot lava. We're going to do six. Um, six of them where we play the E and we touch down to low A. Six of those. And we're going to repeat it. Okay, so it's 12. Ready? One, two. Check yourself and listen for, for how, how light of a touch you have there. And if you're pushing down at all, that's not what we want. We want a light tap like that. Okay, let's do the same thing for F. We're going to play the F um, and we're going to touch down on E, an E grace note on F, six times with repeats, so 12. Ready? Light touch. Don't be pushing down on that channel. Gentle, like this. Okay, ready? One, two. I need you to pause the video here and try that on your own and maybe even look in the mirror or have somebody watch you to see if you're smashing down those fingers or if you're very light touch okay all right the last thing that I need you to do is I need you to get this sheet of paper out and you're gonna see underneath here underneath each note right that we have empty um, lines here I need you to fill in in your own writing the name of each of those notes, starting with low G, up to high A, back down to low G. You're gonna write the name of that note, the letter, under here. Uh, your your guide for that will be this document right here to check. I need you to go look over to this one, find out which note that is. All right, have fun. We'll see you next time. <laughs>